Hey guys, today we'll look into an advanced function uh, in Lookup, which has recently been added in both Excel as well as in Google Sheets. Uh, this is XLOOKUP. This is an advanced uh, version of VLOOKUP and HLOOKUP wherein uh, we do not need to have a separate formula. Uh, only one formula can help us to uh, get the results that we had in uh, VLOOKUP and HLOOKUP. So XLOOKUP function returns the values. In the result, uh, based on the position where a match has been found, yeah, or in the lookup range. Uh, and if the match is not uh, found, then probably it returns, uh, it will return uh, something uh, which is closest, which we uh, saw during, uh, during VLOOKUP using uh, true value, when uh, we turn it to true, then it will uh, give the closest match. So XLOOKUP is uh, majorly used nowadays where uh, the systems have upgraded and uh, it is much flexible function wherein you have seen VLOOKUP, when you are uh, doing a VLOOKUP, you can always find value at the right of the uh, of the formula. This is one of the drawback of VLOOKUP or HLOOKUP because in HLOOKUP, we have to go downward to search for a value. And uh, in VLOOKUP, we have to go for the right, on the right of the uh, of the key to search the value. Yeah. Wherein in XLOOKUP, you can go both ways. For an example, let's uh, understand how XLOOKUP uh, works. So we'll use, the, we'll use the same database that we had for fruits earlier and try to use uh, the formula. So uh, the formula goes this way, is equal to X lookup. Then you open the bracket. Then it's a search key. What do you want to search for? So uh, suppose I want to search Apple. So I'll write Apple or I'll select the place where my variable is there. So suppose I want to write Apple here in this cell. So I'll select that cell. Okay, I'll miss the brackets. In the brackets, add the search key here. So I'll add my uh, search key here, say comma. Then I have to find a lookup range. So where do I have to look for the search key? So I have to look up for the search key in the edge column. Yeah. Then where would my be my result range so that which is the value that i want to look up suppose i want to look up for the price of the fruit yeah i'll select that column then i'll say comma then if there is a missing value then what is supposed to return yeah we'll check for the match mode and search mode later on but this much is enough i'll just add the missing value just to show you how it works so fruit not found i'll add it this way yeah. First, I'll show you if he, if he is not able to find the fruit, then what happens? So let's uh, put Apple. Yeah. So it gives me the price, 150. Again, I'll do the same. Suppose I want the ID as, of the fruit as well. So I'll take the same formula. Just give me one minute. So uh, I'll take the same formula. Yeah and search instead of h1 and h6 which is my price suppose i want to find uh, the id of the apple so i'll select the fruit id yeah oh uh, sorry i have taken the wrong column so instead of j1 j6 which is my price i will select the fruit id yes so it is giving me the id of the fruit as well okay so I can go to the left of the form, right of the formula to search for right of the key to search for a value or I can go to the left. So I can go in any direction. Yeah. So this is how it uh, helps. Yes. Same way. Uh, this was for, this is how VLOOKUP works. Let's see for HLOOKUP. So I'll say XLOOKUP. Let's uh, find the search key 
this could be a search key comma and let's find this one so i try to find name uh, the search key is bob uh, or uh, the name comma i'll try to find the value so i'm going down which is the normal hlookup function yeah also i can in xlookup i can go up so i can replace g for j15 if i want to find the student id i can go up which is not possible in hlookup yeah so let's find out the id of bob and see this so this is how one formula can be used both ways for vlookup as well as hlookup now let's try to find out uh, i put an uh, a fruit which is not available here so i add the fruit as grapes yeah so it is giving me an error now in order to the the formula not show such error we'll add some some optional parameters to it where you say fruit not found yes for grapes it is giving giving me so if uh, apple it is giving me the price and the id of the fruit fruit id not Fruit not found. Yes, yes. So right now for Apple we have both the price and the ID, but for grapes we do not have anything because it is not available. So this is how you find the or replace something when. Uh, there is a missing value or it is not able to find a particular parameter that you are trying to search for. Yes. So it gives me an alternative value which will be always replaced when there is an error to find a particular thing. Same for the employee ID. Yeah. Now the search mode and uh, the match mode there are uh, four types of match word zero which is used for an exact match one is used for an uh, exact match uh, or the next value that is greater than the search key so so let me see how that could be added so if i try to add by default it is zero always yeah it will always try to find the exact match yeah so if i try to put zero it will always give me the exact match. yes but if i try to put one here now so there are other values like one minus one and minus two or two so let's put one here so it is giving me two one five why it is giving me two one five because it's trying to find a closest match to grapes yeah so a b a b c d e f g so l is the closest so it is giving me the prices 215 yes same way for yeah 215 and the i s 105 if i try to put minus 1 Yeah, it is saying price, which is closest to grapes. So because it is the name value, so it is uh, showing me grapes. So same for, uh, it will show me fruit ID, I guess. Yes. Uh, let me change uh, the quantity. Let me make the search range as quantity rather than uh, fruit id let me see whether it gives me some closest match and i try to put 10 which is 150 yeah because 10 quantity is related to 150 if i try to put 20 give me 225 now if i try to put 25 it is giving me 320 okay it's there let me put uh, 15 okay let me put 15 
So it is giving me 150. Why? Because the optional parameters that we have uh, added is minus 1. What is minus 1? It finds the exact match or the next value that is lesser than the search value. If I have to find next value which is greater than the search value, then we have to put it as 1. So it is giving me 225. So it is giving me 10, 15 falls between 10 and 20. Yes. If I say minus 1, it will take me to the previous value. If I put 1 as a match mode, then it will take me to, to the highest value, which is 225. Yeah, which is the next highest value. So this is how match uh, works. Apart from that, you can use on your own the search criteria. Search basically uh, uses in a, uh, like it searches the searches the value in a specific way. So suppose if you put search, search mode as one, it will search from the first entry to the last entry. And if you put minus one, it will search from the last entry to the first entry. That's it. Nothing else. So I hope you'll use this formula. This is one of the advanced formula that I want your people to have a look at. And it's being used mostly nowadays to uh, capture data, and uh, because it has that flexibility to go uh, backward or forward uh, just by using one formula or up or down use it just by using one formula. So it's very much flexible to use and uh, could be used in a lot of data analysis. Thank you so much.